Hey everyone, Dave here, back to do another chat GPT generated recipe. This time, the recipe will be based on the upcoming movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, which is a really interesting twist, as you can see in the background here. On the Ninja Turtles, it's Seth Rogen, comes out of Seth Rogen's mind, so who knows, it may be good, it may be terrible, but it certainly seems like a fun thing to try to create a recipe out of, so let's see, as we always do, what chat GPT can come up with in regards to a Ninja Turtle themed recipe. Create a radical, because the Ninja Turtles used to say radical, uh, recipe based on the upcoming movie. All right, the, ooh, Mutant Mayhem Pizza Pockets. In honor of the upcoming movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, we present a radical recipe that combines the turtle's love for pizza with a twist. These Mutant Mayhem Pizza Pockets are filled with gooey cheese, savory meats, and a splash of mutant green goodness. Ooh, what's the green goodness? That sounds interesting. Look, it's a, okay, let me make this big so you can see it here. It's got a mutant green sauce that sounds pretty cool i'm excited about this guys we're gonna go to the store we're gonna get the ingredients we're gonna come back to the kitchen and we're gonna make these mutant mayhem pizza pockets all right guys we're back and we're gonna make these mutant mayhem pizza pockets that ai came up with and to do it we have to start off by making some pizza dough so we're gonna get a bowl and we're gonna get some dough started my shiny silver bowl although i don't know if it's really the best for on camera all right so it says we need pretty standard dough i bet active dry yeast yeah okay so to make the dough for this mutant me mayhem pizza pocket is this gonna be like a calzone actually again didn't read through the recipe so i'm not really sure what to expect here but it could be like a calzone it could be like a little pizza roll who knows I'm gonna take my packet of active dry yeast and put it into the bowl. And then a cup of warm water, which I've already got pre-measured like a fancy chef. Yeah, teaspoon of sugar. Teaspoon of sugar helps the medicine go down. And then stir that up, I believe. Some of the yeast got up on the sides. Smells very yeasty. In this other fancy shiny silver bowl, I'm gonna put that to the side. That's gotta sit for like five minutes and in five minutes we're gonna use it. But in this other bowl, we need to take flour, two and a half cups of it. Oh look, <laughs> found a missing measuring spoon. When did I ever need an eighth of a teaspoon of flour? One, two, and a half cups of flour. And that'll mix with a teaspoon of salt. I hope this Ninja Turtles movie is good. It's like so much of the Ninja Turtle stuff that's come out lately has been a big disappointment to me. I like the, the old school, you know, 90s turtles that I grew up with. So, but I feel like if anyone knows that nostalgia I'm looking for, it's gonna be Seth Rogen, right? Like he's age wise, same as me. He's an immature child, just like me. <laughs> An adult man child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of frothy now, right? It's a little frothy. So I'm gonna add the flour mixture to that. And then I think it said to add olive oil, didn't it? That was kind of weird. Yeah, two tablespoons of olive oil. One and two. And then we're gonna mix that up until it becomes dough-like. Hopefully that is quick enough. Do, 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 do. Oh, someone, <laughs> I accidentally just hummed a little. Someone put a comment on one of my videos and said, I hate it when people hum. I'm like, okay, sorry. <laughs> hum or whistle, I think they said. Hate it when people hum or whistle. All right, yeah, that's definitely looking doughy for sure. Really fast. Now, floured surface, put it out onto said floured surface and then knead it. You need to knead the dough. Last time I did this, I was out on the back porch and it was like a billion degrees and it was very difficult. What do you use your hand, like your knuckles to knead? Is that, is that how you knead? Do you need to knead this way? And it says knead for five minutes or until smooth and elastic. Hey, floured surface. I don't want to put too much flour in it, but it's sticky. Maybe I'll use my fingers instead of my knuckles. That might work a little bit better. So I'm going to do this for five minutes. Just kind of keep it moving and then we'll be back. All right, so I'm going to call this dough done. Been about five minutes of kneading. Put it into a ball and then I'm going to grease this and put the dough ball inside it. We're going to set this aside. We're going to put a damp cloth over it for an hour and let it rise. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna work on our mutant green sauce next, which calls for one cup of fresh 
spinach leaf blanched and drained. I had to Google this because I don't know what this means. AI knows more than me about cooking, but apparently that means we need to boil it for like one minute. This little induction top cooker is loud as all get out. I'm gonna boil some water on it. All right, so it calls for one cup of spinach blanched and drained. So let me measure out a cup. I mean, that's like it, right? That's too much already. I mean, if you squish it down, it's a cup. Sure, we'll go with that. Now it also is calling for fresh basil and I could not find any at the store. So I've got dried basil. Let me see how I can convert this. Okay, so the internet says I can use one tablespoon plus one teaspoon and it'll be about the same basil-y flavor. So we'll do that, tablespoon and teaspoon. We also need some grated parm. It has a quarter cup, so not much. We're just gonna grate it ourselves. Or you probably could just use the pre-grated stuff. How much did I say? One quarter cup. So that's just a little bit. Probably about right. All right, let's measure it out. Look at that, I eyed it perfectly. So the Ninja Turtles came out in 1990 and we're finally getting a new movie, but it's not even live action. So does it count? We've had plenty of animated movies. I don't know, I'm still excited. All right, so this is boiling. To blanch the spinach, we just put it in there for like a minute, it says. Let it blanch, I guess. Okay, so apparently the next step in blanching is to take it from the hot water and put it into ice water. All right, so it's been about one minute. I'm gonna take these leaves out and put them into this ice water bath here. I don't know, I don't know. I guess this makes them soft. I don't know, there's not much here. It's only the first time I've done this. All I can think when I think of Blanche is like one of the Golden Girls. Wasn't one of their names Blanche? <laughs> you have a few more wrinkles. So do I, so is Blanche. <laughs> Blanche? Oh, it's leaving me some green water. Hey, that's why it's called the mutant green whatever, because it makes green water. Well, and it's also green, I guess. Okay, and now it's stuck in ice water. What do I do now? Drain and squeeze the remaining water out. Okay, so let me clean this up, hold on. So I'm now gonna just like take the spinach out with my hands. Oh, that's cold. It's the ice water challenge and put them on a paper towel. That's probably the easiest thing to do here. Oh, it's so cold. Ah, it's freezing. <laughs> this is unpleasant. <laughs> I guess I could continue using the tongs, but you know, I like to challenge myself, I guess. There's so much, maybe I overdid it with the ice quantity here. I mean, <laughs> did I do this right? What was once a cup of spinach leaves is now like a little ball, a tiny little ball of spinach leaves. I don't know, there. <laughs> That can't be right. Well, whatever, that's what we did, blanched spinach. The next step is to put it into a food processor, which I'm gonna use this blender, same idea. Parmesan cheese goes in there too. That basil we were talking about, which like I said, we're gonna do a tablespoon of the dried stuff, plus a teaspoon, it said. Tablespoon plus a teaspoon of the dry basil. Okay, we're also sp supposed to add two to three cloves of garlic in here. I think I should de-shell de it. Just take the, the wrapper off. That shell went right in there. Oh boy. Can I get it out? There it was. There we go. All right, we did two cloves of garlic. And two tablespoons of walnuts, which I couldn't find just straight walnuts, but I found this bag of mixed nuts. And I'm pretty sure walnuts are these ones, right? Yeah, these are walnuts, so I'm just gonna fill my, I'm just gonna pull out the walnuts. There's like one and a half tablespoons, and then a couple more, two tablespoons. I don't really know if this is the right kind of mixer, but we're gonna try it. I can't find my lid, so I'm just gonna use this thing. Um, it kind of worked. Now we need to add some olive oil, a third of a cup. Oh, and it said to slowly add this. Do I have enough? Yes, just enough. Let's add a little bit. This is gonna be like a pesto sauce. No, oh, except not pesto at all, and it's all stuck on the sides. Again, I don't have like an actual food processor, so I'm trying to make this work. Might need to buy one though, because it's not really working. <laughs> So I gotta go to Walmart. I gotta get a food processor because this needs to be smooth consistency and there's no chance it's happening with this blender. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I went to Walmart and I bought a food processor and now we're gonna try this again. All right, we want it to reach a smooth consistency. We're pretty much there. It says to add some salt and pepper. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Mix it up again. Oh wait, maybe you don't need this thing in it. Oh, I bet that's to keep the inside from getting dirty. So you probably should do this and then this. that makes more sense. That's pretty fancy. Definitely working better than the blender. Get it off the sides and do one more stir and then we'll call this stuff done. 
And this is the green, the mutant green sauce. All right, so now that that's good, set that aside, I don't know. Look, it's got a little lid. You can hold onto this for the assembly. It's not very liquidy. Third cup of olive oil, yeah, that's what we did. I wonder if it needs a little, I feel like, you know what happened? I probably lost a little olive oil when I was uh, transferring it from one bowl to the other or from one mixer to the other. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more. This doesn't seem like it's liquid enough to be called a sauce. And it's still not that liquidy. Oh, you know what? I can take the sharp thing out though. All right, anyways, we set that aside. Let's get the other uh, mix-ins ready. For the filling, we're supposed to have black olives, which I'm not a fan, but it's what it calls for. Green peppers. I think I only have an orange pepper, but that's okay. And put on my microphone. That'll certainly make this sound better. Okay, so for the filling, we need peppers. It says green peppers. I don't have any, but I do have this orange one, which is pretty cool. Add a nice pop of color. I don't think it's a problem. It tastes the same. We also need some sausage. So I've got to cook that up. I'm going to cook it on this little pot here. Oops, take that out. So kind of multitask, chop up the green pepper. Oh, again, not green, the pepper. We also need some chopped jalapenos. How much pepper do we need? It says a quarter cup of sliced pepper. So we're just gonna get a quarter cup of this orange pepper really quick while we also cook up the sausage. A quarter cup is not that much, so shouldn't be hard. Probably there already. Yep, more than enough. All right, so while it was doing that, while the sausage is cooking, I chopped up the peppers. I took out my pepperoni, calls for a half a cup, and then it calls for a cup of mozzarella shredded, which I have right here. And this is all gonna be the filling. It all goes together, so it's okay if it mixes up a little. And the black olives is the last thing. All right, I couldn't find any fresh black olives, and it wasn't really specific on what kind of black olives we're looking for here. So I just bought some canned ones, and we're supposed to slice them up. And I probably won't put it in all of them. I just took a peek at our pizza dough, guys. Doesn't look like it rose very much at all, which is concerning. I'm not sure why it wouldn't rise. All right, this sausage is pretty much done. All right, we're back, and I'm still not convinced this dough rose at all. Actually, I think it did. Yeah, I think it did. I think it like doubled probably. Not much more than that because I think before I could like hold the whole thing in my hand like that. So I think it did rise. It just didn't get very floofy. I was expecting it to be floofy. Okay, so what it says we need to do, what AI says we need to do is get eight separate balls like so. I'm not sure how big. Equal size though, so let's just try it and see. Four, five, seven, eight. Okay, there's eight. I mean, definitely could take some off this and add it to these. Hopefully this is delicious. Mutant mayhem whatevers. This one still feels small. Let's just do this. Do they look close? And they don't need to be perfect though, honestly. They really don't. Okay, so I'm gonna turn them into balls like so. And then we're gonna roll them, I guess one at a time. That's the way I can think to do it. I'm gonna roll them out into kind of like mini pizzas, essentially. I don't know how much we should roll them. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, and now it says, oops, hit my camera. To take our little slime dough, mutant slime sauce as it were, mix it up a little bit and put it on one side of this circle like this. But it says to leave, like don't go all the way to the edge, it says, because you want to have something, I don't know. <laughs> Basically half of it. We'll get the sauce. Gotta give it the sauce. And then we put a little sausage on there. Some olives. Like I said, I'm not gonna put olives on all of them. Some of the peppers. Again, you could use green. I used orange. Some pepperoni. It doesn't say to slice the pepperoni, so I didn't. Let's do like five little pieces. And then some cheese. So, and then we go, we take it and turn it into like a little pizza pocket. Kind of squeeze the edges down. I'm gonna use a fork, I think. And that fork will make like little, like a pastry, guys. Down on the edges. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect, I don't think. We take it and we put it on our greased cookie sheet. Like so, wow, that's a lot bigger than I expected. It's like a little calzone kind of, huh? So let me do a couple more. Okay, so I was just reading the instructions. It says, optional, use a sharp knife and carve a ninja turtle face on top of each pocket. A ninja turtle face. Oh, that went wrong, hold on. A ninja turtle face. Do I think I have the power or ability to do that, guys? I know you don't think I do. Hold on. It might not be that bad to try. 
This is not really coming into the right shape, but that's okay. Let's just do it again. I think I rolled it too, too much. It's probably too much sauce, to be honest. This one, I'm not gonna do the olives because I don't think my wife likes olives. I don't really like olives. All right, try to make this look more pizza pockety. As always, guys, we do not cook professionally. We try to make stuff look okay. Lower your expectations. When watching this channel, we still try to have some fun. Put this one on there. I don't think I can try to make a Ninja Turtle. <sighs> Cowabunga, dude. That would be cool. Dices, it slices, and yet makes french fries in three different. Whoops. I think the Ninja Turtles would appreciate it if I did. I just don't feel like I've got the skills. Okay, let's try it, guys. Let's try to make the outline of a Ninja Turtle. I don't think this is gonna happen. I'm looking at a picture of one with a sharp knife. Okay. Will like actually cut it? What? <laughs> Look, this is probably not gonna work. I'm just making little cuts here. There you go. Does it look like a Ninja Turtle? It's not gonna work. Anyways, I would say just keep doing this same process and then we're gonna throw them in the oven for, oh, the oven should be preheated to 400 and they're gonna go into said oven for like 18 minutes. What the heck happened here? All right, so I got 17 minutes to wait. Why not open up a Ninja Turtle action figure? Nah, yeah, just in the theme. And I've been talking about how I have these figures and I never open them. And so why not just open one, make it lose all its value? This one's cool, because my favorite Ninja Turtle, Donatello, not sponsored at all. Although if, who's this, NECA wants to sponsor me? Hit me up and check this out. How cool is that? So it's it's Donatello, but he's dressed up like the Invisible Man. Because it's like a mixture of Universal's monsters, which I love Universal Studios, and Ninja Turtles, which I love. Oh, oh look, his shell is invisible. How cool is that? I've had this for like six months or whenever it came out and never opened it. Oh, and look, his little toes are invisible. <laughs> That's so cool. He's got a separate head too. We have a little hat. Put his little hat on, check that out. Now he can help us try out the Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem Bites. Is that what they were called? Mutant, May Mutant Mayhem Pizza Pockets. He's gonna help us try them out. Where's his staff? Oh, he's got all these different feet. Does he not hold his staff? Now that's a fail. How do you have a Ninja Turtle who doesn't hold his own staff? Well, does he stand up at least? I feel like they should give you some sort of stand to go with this. Oh, like seriously. How does he not stand up? He's got little holes on the bottom of him. You guys comment down below. How do I stand this guy up? Anyway, it's still pretty cool, even without a stand, which again, very disappointed <laughs> in the lack of a stand. It's probably in there and I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I guess the idea is you'd get it and you'd play with it, but I kind of just want him to stand up on his own. I think people probably make stands that you can buy. Anyways, this isn't an action figure review. That's some future channel. <laughs> But anyways, we're, we're gonna wait. The Pizza Pockets have about 10 minutes left. Donatello's just gonna stay here again. Best Ninja Turtle, in my opinion, but you know, that's just me. Okay, so these should be done. It's been 18 minutes. I'm gonna pull them out and we're gonna cut one open and try it and see how good they are. There we go. I still think an egg wash would have been good. What's that look like on this side? Oh, that looks pretty good. These are our Mutant Mayhem Pizza Pockets. Let me take one off. This one looks kind of the best. Put it on a plate. Hot. I'll move these out of the way for a minute. I almost went off the table. All right, so here's our Mutant Mayhem pizza pocket. Okay, let's just look inside because I want to see that green sauce. Oh, it's hot. Hot. I kind of wanted it to pour out, but it still looks pretty good. All right, let's try it and see how it tastes. Wow. Okay. It's unique because it doesn't have any red sauce, but still. So AI said to let it cool which I should do because it's burning my mouth. It says, enjoy these delicious oozy. They're not really oozy. Maybe I needed to put more sauce. I mean, they're a little oozy. The cheese is a little oozy, you see? Right there, I mean, it's a little oozy. But it, if I had put a lot more sauce, it would be significantly more oozy. Maybe we should open the mega one I did. I think it was this one, although I can't be sure. Should have marked it or something. Still not oozy, but lots more stuff in it, as you can see. Oh, this one with the olives? That one has the olives. I don't like olives, but if you like olives, you'll love that one. <laughs> but to me, that tastes like olives. Not a fan. Enjoy these delicious, oozy, and turtle-approved treats. Do you approve, Donnie? Cowabunga, dude. While watching the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem movie with friends and family. These Mutant Mayhem Pizza Pockets are sure to be a hit with any TMNT fan. 
So apparently if you're a fan of the Ninja Turtles, you'll like these. Okay, so at the end of the day, I actually liked them a lot. All I would say is I would add more of all the fillings. It needs more green sauce, more pepperoni, more sausage, more cheese. Like you literally could go to the hilt on it and it would be better, not worse. To get the oozy green sauce, I think you'd want to double that recipe, but it also could be because the spinach debacle where I like shrunk it down. I don't know if that's normal. Comment down below. Hey guys, thank you for watching. My microphone died again. Not a professional cook and not a professional cameraman. See you next time.